Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome to a fun little vlog experiment I have going on today. I'm just going to start off this vlog because I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of chit chatting um, once I get to where we're going, but um, I figured that I would at least open up this vlog and say hello. I'm going to be doing a day in my life working at the bookstore today. And so I get to take you guys along and um, show you guys what it's like to work in a bookstore in a small business and all of the ins and outs and what it takes to make a store run. I am working by myself today for most of the day. I do have um, Debbie, which is the owner. Um, her sister's coming in today to um, do a little bit of volunteering, but for the most um, portion of the day, the majority of the day, it'll just be me by myself work in the store, um, and taking care of business. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to take you guys along. Hopefully I can get a ton of footage for you guys to enjoy and um, hopefully understand what it's like to work in a bookstore. I know that I've gotten so many questions about um, bookstore life and what it's like and the work that it takes. So now you guys will finally know. So I'm s just sitting on my bed in a weird angle. So let's get out of my bed, go to the bookstore, and I'll see you there. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. Hi guys, um, voiceover Kaylani here. I just wanted to come on here and kind of pop in here and there just to explain the ins and outs of what's going on today. So, um, as you guys can see, I'm just opening up the store. Um, I do talk about it in a little bit, but I am not wearing a mask in these first um, couple minutes of opening up the store. I am in the store by myself, um, and so during this time I was alone. As soon as I opened up the store and realized I don't have my mask on, of course I do wear one for the remainder of the day, but in case anybody was worried about that, I am indeed wearing a mask. But I'm just taking this time to open up the store and kind of um, turn on all the lights and run through the store and make sure there's nothing um, that needs to get done, that needs to get looked at, or that needs to get picked up before I start letting customers in. Um, and, you know, this experience is kind of tailored to the business and whether or not it's a large bookstore or a small business like ours and so um, I can definitely say that this is a tailored experience um, and my day isn't always like this there are some days where I do things differently but this is a, a a gist of usually what happens but um is now time we are officially open so let's get to it okay I had to pause the music so I can update you guys but I just got in um everything is open and ready so we are now ready and open for business I'm just putting my stuff away I have tripods everywhere and things happening, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I probably will voice over most of this video, but if I have time to update you guys um, physically, then I will do so. Um, we open at 10, so we are here and ready. Um, I have a full eight hours ahead of me and um, quite a bit of stuff to do. So I will probably just be sitting here doing some go back stuff for the first couple of hours just because I have the time and the space to do that. Usually people don't start trickling in until around 11.30, so I have some time to do some like everyday stuff and then it's time to talk to customers and be gracious and I just realized I don't have a mask on, so I probably do that. <laughs> Usually if I'm opening up the store, I don't put my mask on, but as soon as the stores are open, it's mask time. So get ready to hear me with a mask on for the rest of the day and I will talk to you guys.
Okay, so here we are getting started with actual work. And I think one of the biggest misconceptions about working at a bookstore is the amount of work that goes into making the bookstore what it is. Um, and I spend a lot of time cleaning books, putting books away, taking book donations, all of that fun stuff. Um, and we have a very large backlog of books that need to go out on the shelves. So that's what you're seeing me do right now. We have a little section um, down below the counter that has all of the different sections of books that we keep in the store that allows us to easily take things back into it, each of its sections. Everything gets color coded, cleaned, wiped down, and put away in its proper section. Everything is alphabetized. Well, I can't say everything. We're getting to everything being al alphabetized, but for the most part, we try to keep everything as organized and as shoppable as possible. But it's definitely a lot more work than I ever thought it was going to be going into working at a bookstore, but I love my job so much. I have a fantastic boss, I have fantastic coworkers, so I can def definitely not complain. I love my job, but it is definitely a lot more work than I ever thought that it was going to be. So here you're just gonna see me cleaning off the books, um, stickering them with their color-coded um, section, writing the last three letters, I'm sorry, the first three letters of the last name on there and um, getting them ready to go back out onto the shelves. So this is definitely the most time consuming and what we spend the most of the time, most of our time doing at the store is not only talking to customers, but also putting away books. And um, there's definitely some things during this time that I didn't show you guys, things that either would have taken me too long to film, um, it didn't seem like it was going to be fun to film it for you, and or it wasn't appropriate to show, like, any interactions with customers are, are, is not in this video because, first of all, I don't want to um, disrupt their privacy, but also it's just not appropriate, I think, to show those type of things. Obviously, you guys know I work in a bookstore, I will be talking to customers, but throughout this entire video, you will only probably see like one glimpse of a customer the entire time. I promise we're open, people were shopping today, I just chose to be super um, respectful of other people's privacy. So. Um, I'm just gonna kind of let the music play and if I have anything that I want to add I will do so but I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope that you guys find this entertaining <laughs> Get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for Okay, so as you guys just saw, I brought a whole bunch of boxes over, and this is our these are just boxes that are full of books that people have brought in via donation, and we sort them into their different sections. Um, and you will quickly see in just a second how fast these boxes turn into a lot of work for us to take books back and put them onto the shelves. Um, I ended up with a full entire sh like desk full of mystery books that needed to go back onto the shelves and so I cleaned those, stickered them, and um, put them all away, plus also dealing with customer donations, customer requests, answering the phones, um, walking people around the store, giving them tours if it's their first time, and just educating people on the store. As you can see, this is all work that um, I put in from those boxes and just like this with the magic of editing it's all done and ready for you guys. It's 
so aesthetically pleasing and so satisfying to see but that took me probably about an hour to two hours to get all of that stuff out on the shelves as well as juggling customers and all of that fun stuff and then here you see me just um boxing up donations so like i said we are a used bookstore we are a mostly donation store so we get in books all the time boxes all the time and so we're constantly juggling that um in the store as well so it's an interesting thing to to see i think that i i definitely um had a different idea of what people do at a bookstore um i didn't think it was this but i can't say that i don't enjoy it so there you go all right guys i'm gonna make this update quick because it's hot as hell in my car um but my coworker just um came to work so it is now time for me to take a break which means i'm halfway through my day it is currently 12 two o'clock which is right around halfway i get off at six so i'm gonna go eat lunch i'm gonna go take a 30 minute just brain relief and then get back to work it's been it's been quite a, a busy day. I've been getting a lot of stuff done, which is great, but um, it's just been it's just been a wild ride. So I'll talk to you guys when I have time to update you. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Can I get a number eight Supreme, please? Um, um, can I get the mango tea? Thank you. and this is me at 5 30 wishing that i could have sat around and read all day but instead i worked my butt off and now we are coming to the end of my day so basically what you guys are going to see is everything that i did this morning but in reverse i'm going to close the garage and when i say garage i mean this was literally a garage this building used to be a house before it was a, a store so that's what you guys are seeing i'm just gonna close up throw away the trash the recycling um go through
Make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we have. We lie, but we know we can't wire or it doesn't grow. Give up, let it go. All right, guys, that is the end of this day in the life at the bookstore vlog situation. Um, sorry if you guys can hear my car running. I'm I'm sweating, so I turned the AC. But um. It was a pretty normal day overall, I would say. It was quite busy for most of the day. Um, and I brought home some books, so no surprise there. I got uh, two ARCs that came in that we can't sell in the store, so I decided to take them home. Not that I need any more books on my shelves, but there you go. That's pretty normal for me as well. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know that it's a little bit different, but I know that a lot of you guys were asking what it's like to work in a bookstore and asking to see a vlog like this. So I hope that this um, filled the need. I hope that you guys um, have all the information that you would wanted to know when it comes to working at a bookstore um and if you have any more questions feel free to ask me um in the comments down below i'll be more than happy to answer them for you but that is the end of this video i really really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and of course leave any comments questions and suggestions in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video bye